So one of the things that really, really is so easy to implement into the management plan for an arthritic dog, but is so often overlooked, is lifestyle adaption, home environment modification. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey and just explain what I see. So let me just turn this around. Here we go. So let's go down onto the ground level, which is where our dogs live. So let's go around the house, looking at the environment that our dogs are having to live in. So the flooring, slippery, nice traction. We've got a threshold here. Is that gonna be easy for the dog to do? They're walking down the patio. Oh my goodness, we suddenly have all these steps. That takes coordination and balance and strength coming down the steps. We go out into the garden. Oh, obstacle, let's go this way. Oh, more steps. Where do they start? Where do they end? Let's go this way. Trip hazards, stumbling, blind step. Now, if you had a dog that was weak and potentially unstable, Luna, I'm filming, then these challenges can be pretty hard for them. Now, I'm just gonna go back in a reverse and you can see what I mean. So we've left the grass, which is our nice safe zone. We're going along the garden path, which is knobbly, unbalanced, potential trip hazards. We suddenly have a blind step here. And we come back and again navigate through the undergrowth, coming round. And we start seeing the stairs that we've got to get up to get back into the house. Now, if we're weak, unstable, then these are gonna be quite a challenge coming up these stairs. Oh, another potential trip hazard of the doormat. Another potential trip hazard of the threshold. Another potential trip hazard. So that little journey that I just took you on with my gimbal actually gives you a chance of seeing the world from their level. And what I'm trying to illustrate is that there's a lot of challenges that they have that we just overlook. Now, what we're trying to do is keep our dogs as comfortable as possible. And we're trying to slow the progression of the disease. And when we consider that arthritis isn't just a disease of the joint, it actually affects the whole body. And they become weaker, less coordinated, less balanced, less power and strength. That these little hindrances can become quite big obstacles. And we know this with the people in our lives, you know, our grandparents, our older generation, Slips, trips and falls are really quite likely, so we put things in place to try and prevent them so that they don't do harm. Now, that is a logic that we really can bring into our dog's lives as well. So that's another tip for you.